Hey guys, welcome to Simply Electrical. I'm going to be going over some dryer calculations in this video, covering the 220.54 section in the code. Uh, this is going to be a deep dive series. I'm going to go really heavy into the hows and the whys for these dryer calculations. They're basically pretty simple, pretty straightforward uh, for just a single family dwelling or even multifamily dwelling. It's pretty easy. But it does get a little complicated when you get to single phase dryers on a three phase service. So we're going to take a look at that and show you exactly how to calculate that type of a service load. Now this says 2023 because that's the current code cycle we're under. I'm recording this in 2024, but this video should be good for pretty much all generations of the code going back. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to go look at 220.54 electric clothes dryers dwelling units. It says the load for household electric clothes dryers in a dwelling unit shall be either 5,000 watts or the nameplate rating, whichever is larger, for each dryer served. The use of the demand factors in table 220.54 shall be permitted. Now I'm going to skip this section here in the middle because it talks about three phase services. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And then I'm going to go ahead and read this last sentence here. It says kilovolt amperes or KVA shall be considered equivalent to kilowatts for loads calculated in this section. So that's pretty standard. We interchange KVA and KW often, especially when we're dealing with load calculations. And they're just telling you here in this section specifically, uh, they do the same thing. So they're using them interchangeably. Okay, so going back up to the first sentence, which we're gonna deal with right now. If you have a dryer, electric closed dryer, it shall be either 5,000 watts or the nameplate rating, whichever is larger. So if you have one dryer, say 4,500 watts, that's going to equal 5,000 watts because you cannot go below 5,000 watts per dryer. So it's just a simple conversion from 4,500 to 5,000. Now, if you have 5,500 watt dryer, that's going to equal 5,500 watts because it's whichever is larger. So 5,500 watt obviously is larger than 5,000. So we take the 5,500 in that scenario. Now, when you're dealing with just one dryer, you don't have to use this chart at all. In fact, when you're dealing with the first four dryers, you don't have to use this chart because the first four dryers have a 100% demand factor. So this table 220.54, demand factors for household electric clothes dryers, gives you the number of dryers on the left and then the, the corresponding demand factor on the right. And in our situation, for the first one through four dryers, they're gonna be 100%, so there's no deduction to be made. Okay, what if you have three dryers? Well, let's take a look. So let's say we have three dryers here and they're all different sizes, 4,500, 3,750, and 3,500 watts. Well, they're all under 5,000 watts, right? If you were to add these up straight, you'd get 11,750 watts. But we've got to remember 5,000 watt minimum per dryer. So these are each gonna be rated at 5,000 watts for this calculation. That ends up being 15,000 watts total. Now, because we're still in the one through four number of dryers, we take that at 100%. So 15,000 watt is our value. Okay, let's try a different set of dryers. We have a 5,500 watt, a 5,200 watt, and a 3,500 watt. Well, adding those straight up would be 14,200 watts, but we've got to make sure this 3,500 watt gets brought up to 5,000 minimum. So it'd be 5,500, 5,200, and 5,000 added together, that gives you 15,700 watts. And again, since it's three dryers, 100% demand factor, so that is our value. Okay, well, what if we have six dryers? Now these are all 4,500 watts. It's pretty standard for multifamily that all your dryers are gonna be the same size, but not necessarily. So if you were to add these six dryers up, you'd get 27,000, but, don't forget the 5,000 watt minimum. So each of these is 5,000 watts. 5,000 times six is 30,000 watts. Now we go over to our table, 220.54, and we see, okay, now we're down to six dryers. So we gotta see what our demand factor is, and it tells us 75%. So we apply 75% to that 30,000, and we come up with 22,500 watts. And that is our final value for our load calculation. Okay, we'll do one more example before we get into the three-phase part. 
Now we have 15 dryers. They're all 4,500 watts again. If you were to add them straight up, you'd get 67,500 watts. But we got to take the 5,000 watt minimum. So 5,000 times 15 is 75,000 watts. And now we go over to our table and we go down and it falls down in here for the 12 to 23 dryers. And it tells us, okay, if you have somewhere between 12 and 23 dryers, you got to take 47%, which that was the percentage for 11. So you take 47% minus 1% for each dryer exceeding 11. Now we have 15, so that's four dryers more than 11. So we've got to take four times 1%, that's 4%, away from the 47%. 47% minus 4%, right here, gives us 43%. So that's what we have to apply to our 75,000 watts. 75,000 times 43%, gives us 32,250 watts. And that is the value for our service. Okay, so that's really it in a nutshell. That's as, It's really pretty basic, pretty simple to do these calculations like this. Um, dryers are much easier than say ranges, which are similar in some ways, but the, the table's very different. Um, I have another video on that, so please check that out if you have any questions on ranges. Now we're gonna get into the three phase part. Okay, let's go back to the text of 220.54 and let's read the part that we skipped over before. This part in green it says where two or more single phase dryers are supplied by a three phase four wire feeder or service, the total load shall be calculated on the basis of twice the maximum number connected between any two phases. So in a nutshell, what that's saying is we need to figure out first what the maximum number connected between any two phases is. So it's asking us how many dryers maximum are going to be connected between any two of the three phases. So a single phase dryer has two connection points. Look down here at our three phase service here, three phase feeder. We got A, B, and C phases. Each dryer is only connected to two of those phases because it's a single phase dryer, each one. So we need to figure out how many maximum are connected between any two phases out of all our dryers. And that is assuming that we're having these evenly distributed, which is what you're supposed to do by code anyway, and you're supposed to do it as best you can, is even them out. So how do we figure out what the maximum is? Well, I've developed this table over here, this calculation, uh, to do exactly that. And it makes it very easy, very straightforward. What we end up doing is we take the number of dryers we have, in this case, nine, we divide by three, and then we round up our answer if we need to, which we don't in this case. We multiply by two, and that gives us our new number of dryers. Then we apply it to table 220.54, which is the same table we've been using. And once we get our answer there in watts, we multiply it by 1.5 because what we're doing here is we're kind of setting up an imaginary scenario where we're, we're saying, okay, well, what if these dryers were connected to a single phase system? what would it be like? And that's how we're getting the new number of dryers as if it is on a single phase system. But once we're done, once we apply that to our table and get our amount, our, our wattage amount, we have to con then convert it back to three phase again to find out what our total demand is. Okay, now that may sound confusing, but we'll work through it very slowly and it'll come crystal clear to you by the time we're done. Okay, so each dryer is connected to only two phases. So you can see that visually here, and it's really nice. We only have nine, so it's easy to just draw it out like this and you can get a good idea and see uh, what it looks like to be connected. So you have how many dryers connected between any two phases? Well, between A and B, you have three dryers connected. Between A and C, you also have three dryers connected and same with between B and C. So the maximum number of dryers we have connected between any two phases is three, right? Well, they tell us to calculate on the basis of twice the maximum number. So if we have three, twice that is six. And that's exactly what we're doing here in this calculation. We're divided by three, multiply by two, and we get six new dryers. Okay, now let's, before we go any further here, let's just go ahead and use our numbers and plug them into this formula. 
Okay, here we go. Here's the formula here. We have our dryers shown down here. These are our new number of dryers, six, right? So first of all, we did number of dryers. We had nine. Here's the nine we started out with. We divide by three. That gives us three. We round up if we need to, which we don't here, and multiply by two, and that gives us six. So that's our new number of dryers, six. So we see that represented right down here. Then we apply it to table 220.54. And here's our table, for, so six dryers. That tells us we have a 75% demand factor. So six times 5,000 watts is 30,000, because 5,000 minimum times 75% is 22,500 watts. But then we're not done, because since we converted to a single phase, now we gotta go back to three phase again. And so we do that by reversing the situation. So instead of dividing by three and multiplying by two, we divide by two and multiply by three, which also is the same as multiplying by 1.5. 22,500 times 1 1.5 is 37,500 watts. And that is our total demand. So again, just to put it into visual perspective, we have our new six dryers. If we were to add them straight up, we'd get 27,000 watts, but we know we can't do that. We've got to multiply by the minimum 5,000 per. So 5,000 times six equals 30,000 times 75%, right over here, demand factor for six dryers. That gives us 22,500. Multiply by 1.5 or three over two, and that gives us 37,500 watts. And that is your value. Now, I put this up here just to show you what it would have been like if we had just treated it like it was a single phase service or like we would treat it if it had been a single phase service. We would take all nine dryers. If we were to add them straight up, it'd be 40,500, but we can't do that. We would take it by 5,000 per dryer times nine is 45,000 watts. But then we would multiply by 55% because if you go down here to nine dryers, it gives us a 55% demand factor. And so 45,000 by 55% is 24,750 watts. So you can see now, if you were to do it on a single phase, you would be almost 12,000 watts lower than you should be if it's three phase. So it's very critical that you do this right and you don't forget these steps because that's a big difference. 12,000 watts almost, you know, that's quite a substantial amount difference in your load calc, um, depending on how, you know, if you have nine units, you're doing multifamily and you got nine units, 12,000 watts is a substantial percentage of your service size. But that is it. That's how you do a three phase service with single phase dryers. So we know you cannot use the single phase setup for our calculation. We have to go with this formula to figure out what it is on a three phase system. Here's another visual so you can get a maybe a better idea. Maybe this will be more helpful to some people to see what it looks like. So you have your three phases here, A, B, and C. You have three dryers connected between A and B. You have three dryers connected between A and C. And you have three dryers connected between B and C. And so that'll show you kind of in a visual how the connections take place. And this is for nine dryers total and they're evenly distributed. This is how they would be connected. So that might, that might be helpful for some people to see it that way. The last thing is in the back of your code book, there are in the informative annex D, you have examples of different calculations. Now they don't have one for dryers, but ranges are treated a very similar way as far as the, the single phase ranges on a three phase service, same way as a dryer. So what I did was I just put this example in here for the ranges so you can kind of see what they're saying. They're saying the same thing here. They just don't do a very good job or a very thorough job of explaining how they're getting or why they're doing what they're doing and getting the numbers they're getting. You can kind of work your way through and see what they're doing, but uh, it's not very clear why they're doing it that way. So that's why I wanted to make a video too. So it's a little, might, might help someone out, make it a little uh, easier to understand. Okay, and that's it for this video. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you found this helpful, please send me a like and also subscribe. That would really help me out a lot. Please check out my other videos. I have a set of 2020 videos for load calcs, um, and I'm working now through 2023 videos 
and getting them out uh, as quickly as I can. But yeah, check out any other videos that you're interested in and uh, we will see you on the next one.